All right, so Fortnite ranked. We've all played it. We've all been in a ranked or tournament game with 10 kills and max mats. And either two things are happening. One, mostly during the game, you can't take anyone's wall or even build correctly because you lag so bad. <laughs> Or two, you've been getting one of these bad boys in the top right of your screen. Before you know it, everyone's running in place and suddenly you're just back in the lobby. And believe me, I know, it's a whole new level of rage when you hop on a cash cup and have to fight against your internet instead of other players. But we're gonna fix that today. We're gonna take your 100 ping, 60 ping games and reduce it down to about 20 ping to 30 ping. Comment down below what your before and after results were after watching this video. And don't forget to make a system restore point before doing Doing this tutorial so I don't get arrested if your internet card blows up. I'm joking, that doesn't actually happen, but if you do experience issues, just undo all the steps I'm about to show you, just in reverse. Also click the subscribe button, come on, I, I know you want to. Alright, now let's get into these optimizations. Alright, so for optimization number one, I highly recommend investing in a Cat6 Ethernet cable because wired connections are just way better than wireless connections. You get basically a solid input and output to your router or modem or wherever you're connecting it to. And there's a lot less interruptions in case there's like 10 people on your Wi-Fi and you're getting packet loss in game. So I highly recommend just buy a Cat6 Ethernet cable. It's like, it's like $30, $45 on Amazon. And yeah, there's a link down in the description if you want to buy one for yourself. But yeah, I highly, I highly recommend buying one. All right, so for optimization number two, I highly, highly recommend you use a gaming VPN. And the one that I've been going with for about four years now is exit lag. Now I have been on and off about exit lag in the past, but they recently just revamped their entire GUI and they've made it just a whole lot cleaner, added a ton of things to it. I mean, just look at this thing. It looked so much different from the last time I used it. And they have so many more options on the side. They have all of this. They have a traffic shaper. They have multi-internet in case you have multiple connections. And they even have an FPS boost. I didn't even know this was a thing. And let me just tell you this, yeah, this is worth it. So yeah, if you do want to purchase Exit Lag for yourself, I'm not sponsored by them at all, but if you use the link down in the description, you can get a 72 hour free trial just to see how you like it. And it'll also help me out a ton. But with that, I will show you my settings for this. For my FPS boost, you could just copy my settings right here. I don't really worry about multi-internet or traffic shaper since I don't really use either of them. If you go over to general settings, uh, these are my settings. I have my accuracy and route optimization on high and my protocol for analyzing routes. I have this on ICMP. I have real-time optimization, smart optimization, IPv6, high priority QoS, allow dual routes, and enable high UDP ports. I have all of those on and my packets redirection method, I have this on automatic, which is the recommended. And all you need to do to boost Fortnite is you literally go to library and you search for Fortnite. Here, it's right here. You put in your region minus North America. So if I click North America, I have my TCP routes on zero and UDP routes on two. But if you want to use local routes first, you can always do that as well. That basically will let exit lag use your local routes before anything else. So if you want to go with that first, I would recommend that just to see how you like it. You can always change this later. I have pretty much everything set to auto. So if you click optimize routes, it'll say, do you really want to optimize routes? This actually may take a few seconds i highly recommend doing this because overall it really just like makes sure all your connections are stable and there we go successfully optimized routes so that's pretty much it now if you click apply routes the next time you load up fortnite it should say that it's running i pretty much never play a tournament or ranked game without exit lag this season because of the lag and exit lag has been a huge help in reducing packet loss so definitely use my link below and sign up for a free account and get that 72 hour free trial just to see how you like it but if i were you if you're a comp player, I kind of recommend go ahead and buying this. It's not that much per month, and to be honest, I couldn't see myself playing a single tournament without it. All right, so for optimization number three, we're going to turn off all of our notification action settings. We can do that by going to the notification and action settings in Windows and just literally turning all of this off, unchecking all of this and turning this off. Basically what this does is that once there's notifications coming into your machine, all of that network traffic is getting basically allocated to receiving and transmitting notifications. And this can really not only slow down your FPS, this can really slow down your internet. So I definitely wanna make sure you guys disable this. If you use notifications, I mean, I guess you can keep them on, but this really, really makes a difference. All right, so for the next tip, we are going to go into the command line, click run as administrator. And we're going to do ipconfig slash flush DNS. 
This basically flushes all of your DNS resolver cache that's in your internet card, and it basically speeds everything up. There's literally no harm in doing this whatsoever, so there's not really a way to reverse this, but I can 100% guarantee you're not gonna see problems because of this. So yeah, if you wanna go ahead and run this command, I'll leave it down in the description so you can just copy and paste it. All right, so for optimization number five, we are going to wanna close all of our unwanted apps that we don't want. We can do this by opening up Task Manager and clicking More Details. And once you're on the screen right here, you can see all of your processes on your computer. Basically, go down the list and end any of the tasks that are taking up your network or your GPU the most. Overall, you want to try to get your network to 0% or as very close to it as you can, because that means that almost none of your network is going to anything else but your game. You might also see a significant FPS increase as you're doing this, and that's normal. That means that basically nothing else is being used on your computer except for Fortnite. So yeah, if you want to do this also to get more FPS, then I highly recommend you do that as well. All right, so for optimization number six, we are going to want to go back into Task Manager and head over to the Startup tab. Right here, you can see all of your apps that automatically start when your computer is started, and this can significantly decrease your performance on your internet. So I recommend anything you don't need, just right click and click disable. Except for your audio drivers, if you have any, I recommend literally disabling almost everything. And like I said, if one of these programs starts when you turn on your computer, that process will still be running in the background even if you end the task. So definitely make sure you go through and filter out all of the apps that you don't want, so that way you can get as close to 0% network usage as possible. So for optimization number seven, we are gonna be experimenting with different DNS servers. And we can safely do this by typing in ethernet settings. You're gonna click your network and then go under IP settings and click edit. So it looks like exit lag already put me on a really good DNS server to start with. I believe 8.8.8.8 .8 and the alternate, I believe this is Google, but you can check for yourself. Basically experiment and try out different DNS servers and see which one works the best for you. Personally, I'm using Google per exit lag's choice, but you could use Cloudflare, you could use Apple. There really isn't a specific one you have to use. So just test out different ones and see which one works the best for you. Also, if you experience issues, all you have to do is just delete it just like that and click save. All right, so for optimization number eight, we are going to want to uninstall OneDrive. If you use this, you don't have to, but this is slowing down your PC so much, it's not even funny. So click Windows and type in OneDrive and click uninstall. Once you're here, just find it, Microsoft OneDrive, right click and click uninstall. And just like that, OneDrive is gone. OneDrive slows down your entire system by running all of these processes to try to sync and back up all of your files on your computer. And during gameplay, this will slow your machine down so much. There's a ton of alternate backup services that I recommend over OneDrive, like Backblaze for Windows or Time Machine for Mac. The reason OneDrive probably takes up so much resources on your machine is because Microsoft wasn't thinking about performance when they made OneDrive. So yeah, if you're not using OneDrive, please uninstall it. All right, so for optimization nine and 10, which is our final optimizations for this video, you're gonna wanna go into your Fortnite settings and you're gonna make sure that you're on auto for your matchmaking region and then scroll down and you're gonna wanna disable replays right here. Replays overall can make you lag so much because you're constantly streaming to your replays folder on your computer or your Xbox. So I highly recommend turning all of these off unless you're a content creator and you need cinematics. I recommend just go ahead and disable this. And yeah, that kind of does it for all the optimizations. Let's hop in a ranked game, shall we? Dead. Let's go. Let's not go. What the f-